Mr. Paulia. Mr. Paliev, on the issue of China, how can the House move forward this week on allegations of uh, interference? We're calling on the NDP to stop helping the Liberals with their cover-up and instead uh, invite and request uh, high-level PMO officials like Katie Telford to testify about what they knew. Um, Ms. Telford was a top-level campaign operative for Justin Trudeau in both the 2019 and 2021 elections uh, in which uh, CSIS has found the uh, regime in Beijing interfered. She should be called to testify about what she knew. She should also tell us what she knew about the candidates that candidate or candidates that may have been uh, influenced by uh, interference by the, the regime in Beijing. Uh, so we're calling for the NDP to vote in favor of bringing in those witnesses to hear the truth. Justin Trudeau has known about this interference for a decade because it was 10 years ago that the Trudeau Foundation got its $200,000 donation from a Beijing-backed donor. And uh, ever since, we know that the government in Beijing has been trying to influence and support Justin Trudeau. Uh, we need to, to know the truth about what uh, he and his party knew throughout that decade-long period of interference. Of course, just, just on Chinese interference, Mr. Yeah. Paulia, is there a compromise short of an inquiry that you accept, perhaps maybe yourself being briefed on top secret documents that uh, that, that we've been talking about? Would you accept something like no, that? No, because what <laughs> that's a trick and that's a trap. What they would do is bring opposition MPs or leaders into a room give them some information, and then swear them to secrecy so they couldn't ever speak about it again. So effectively, that would be a trick to try and prevent anyone debating the subject anymore. So no, we're not going to, we're not going to have a situation where conservatives are told that they have to be quiet about this scandal because they're sworn to secrecy. We need as a public inquiry th that is truly independent to get to the bottom of it, all while continuing the parliamentary investigation. Good morning, Prime Minister. Uh, Cam McIntosh, CBC National. On China, you've talked about mechanisms that we have in place to guard against foreign inter interference in our elections. Why not call an inquiry? Why, uh, why do you think that that would be of no utility? What would be the downside of it? I think it's extremely important that Canadians are taking such an interest uh, and are so concerned about protecting our democracy. Um, we know that China, among other countries, has attempted to interfere uh, not just in our democracy and in our country in general, uh, whether it's institutions or research facilities or uh, political processes. We also know they tried to interfere uh, during our elections in 2019 and 21. The reason we know that is partially because we put in place mechanisms that weren't there before we came into office to empower professional, nonpartisan -pub public servants uh, to monitor closely what's going on. But I absolutely hear that Canadians want to be reassured that independent experts are looking at, at this issue. They want to make sure uh, that all the right questions are being posed of our intelligence and security agencies in a rigorous way to make sure they're doing everything possible. And they want a level of public accountability from those officials to be talking about everything that needs to be done and everything that continues to be done. All of those goals are related to processes that are ongoing as we speak. For the 2019 election, we created a high-level panel on election interference comprised of Canada's top public servants who are independent and professional and dedicated to this country. And they work closely with all of our national security experts, officials, and agencies to monitor day by day what was going on during the 2019 and 2021 elections. The independence, the professionalism, the rigor with which they looked at it is something that Canadians can take tremendous reassurance in, in the fact that it was found that our election integrity held absolutely.
in 2019 and 2021. And further to that, an independent report analyzing the work they did in the 2021 election was just released, laying out all the things that worked, all the things that were effective, and put forward recommendations for how to even improve it in the future, which is absolutely something we will take seriously. So we have the process that we put in place that is professional, independent people working with the public service to make sure thresholds are met. But on top of that, following uh, our election in 2015, we created something that Canada did, never had before, which is a committee of parliamentarians from all the different parties who would get cleared up to the most top secret clearances so they can look at all the top secret work that our national security agencies are doing, including serious studies they put into uh, election interference and foreign interference in general. So you have political members of parliament from all parties cleared to top secret levels that are and have and will continue to dig into the issue of interference so that people from different partisan perspectives can challenge and push not just the government but the agencies themselves to make sure they did everything and are continuing to do everything to keep Canadians safe. And on top of that, there are right now public hearings, committee meetings in Ottawa where our top security officials from the National Security Intelligence Advisor to the CSIS Director to the panels of people who were involved in this process are testifying publicly before committee of parliament, of parliamentary committee on everything that was done and that needs to be conti continued to be done and should be done in the future. So all these processes are going on and demonstrate the seriousness with which this government and this country needs to take the question of foreign interference. And as we move forward, as these processes unfold, I'm sure they will highlight more that we need to do, areas we need to do more, and we will be there to do whatever is necessary to meet two goals. First of all, to ensure that our election integrity holds, that our democracy is defended against foreign interference. And second, that Canadians can have confidence in our institutions, in our democracies, in our ability to defend ourselves. These are things that are under, being undergone right now because as a government we have always taken this issue extraordinarily seriously as Canadians expect us to. Just follow up regarding Morris Rosenberg, why pick someone so closely tied to your family, your family's foundation? Would it not inspire more confidence outside of liberal circles? Pick someone else. Uh, the choice of uh, the person to look at this was based on, uh, was done by uh, the professional public service themselves. They wanted someone who had experience working for uh, multiple different uh, governments of different partisan stripes uh, and a long career in the, in the public service. Uh, and Mr. Rosenberg certainly qualifies for that. But he was the choice of the professional public service, uh, not of my government.